we are learning more about the driver killed while riding in his self-driving car. A witness now tells Inside Edition the driver may have been watching a Harry Potter movie at the time of the crash. But did that play a role in the crash? Jim Ray takes a closer look. Was he really watching a Harry Potter movie? That's the question hanging over the horrific crash that killed Tesla owner Joshua Brown, the first fatality in a self-driving car. There was a movie playing. Witness Robert Van Cavillar says Brown's wrecked car ended up in his yard outside Gainesville, Florida. I could hear it. The police officer told me it was a Harry Potter movie. Cavillar showed Inside Edition the path the car took after it hit a tractor trailer carrying a cargo of blueberries. When it came in between those two trees, went through the pole, came right here. You can see the tire tracks right here. Cops say they found a portable DVD player like this one in Joshua Brown's Tesla. Tesla says it's not possible to watch a movie on the vehicle's touchscreen display, but we found a video that appears to show it can be done by jerry-rigging the electronics. In the online video, a hacker claims she was able to override the car's systems and play Terminator 2 on its display. It is still your responsibility to keep your hands on the wheel and your eyes on the road, not to take your hands off the wheel and to look elsewhere. Brown loved his Tesla. In one posting on social media, he showed his car avoiding a near miss with a truck. Tesla's founder, billionaire Elon Musk, tweeted a link to the video, prompting Brown to exclaim, Elon Musk noticed my video. I'm in seventh heaven. I'm a techie. I love technology. But I think you almost have like a, you're unsure a little bit about whether you really want to let a vehicle of 5,000 pounds drive you around. Tesla told us in a statement that they confirmed there was, quote, not a movie playing on the infotainment screen of the Tesla involved in the accident. By the way, it's also been revealed that Joshua Brown had eight speeding tickets in six years.